Okay, boys and girls, if you're wondering, you can spend a week in Barcelona and not see everything. If you want to take in the vibe and the culture and the food, yeah, spend three, four days. Lisa's plotted this itinerary for the day. Combination of walking, bus, maybe metro, I don't know, train. I think it's a bit optimistic. <laughs> but this is not the way to do it. But let's give it a go. We're Andre and Lisa. We quit our jobs in 2018 and started our life of full-time travel. 2020 COVID hit the world and we got stuck in South Africa. We spent our time creating the perfect travel destination filter, but now we're ready for the next adventure again. early and it's still dark but I have to wake up now because today we're going to Barcelona Buenos dias Buenos dias This is bloody cold but we're walking to <laughs> where we think a train station is It's 11 degrees out Staying in an area in a town just Mont out. Montmelo. Montmelo. Actually, Montmelo is so well known because it's uh, home to the racing circuit where the Spanish Grand Prix is held, as well as the. What did we say? MotoGP. MotoGP. Hmm, don't know. Anyway, they've got a really nice little area. But now we need to find a station because we're going to try and catch a train. It's about a 20 minute ride to Barcelona, so it's pretty convenient for us. And if we really do it well, we get ourselves a day pass or a day ticket. Which will allow us to not only use the train, but also use the buses and the metro within Barcelona. How do we get there? It's not off to a good start, we're already lost. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the best part is Lisa's plotted this itinerary for the day. Combination of walking, bus, maybe metro, I don't know, train. <sighs> I think it's a bit optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> what? We only have 30 things to see. And we're only going to walk about 30 kilometers. Okay, boys and girls, if you're wondering, you can spend a week in Barcelona and not see everything. If you want to take in the vibe and the culture and the food, yeah, spend three, four days. And in I think Barcelona. one day we will come back and spend some time, stay in Barcelona itself. At the moment, we're just passing through, but I do want to see the No, we don't really have time. So I'll pop in, have a look around. But this is not the way to do it. But let's give it a go. Or two. We got tickets, good news. We got uh -huh. tickets with seven minutes to spare. Actually, we're going to take the slightly earlier train. We scored 15 minutes. 16, 16 euro. Okay, I'll tell the story later. I don't know, we're we butchering that. 20 minutes later, we sort of where we want to be. And we just need to find our way out of the station. This is the funny part, you can sort of plan a route, but you, you forget about the logistical challenges in between. You now you get to the wrong entrance, you have to walk around the block, you have to find your way out. They stuff. happen so easily and quickly and they can take so much time. Okay, but let's get out of the station and get a lot of ground. All right, first step. Completed. We made our way out of the station, sort of. Lisa claims she knows where we're going. Of course, I know where we're going. It's super early. It's before 9 a.m. and we're already in Barcelona. Yes, Barcelona, baby. Oh, oh. Where should we get a coffee? Mm, that's not a bad idea. Looks like a nice coffee. Yes. Oh. A pretty decent. Cheers. My croissant's bigger than yours. Plain. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no, no, I didn't know you were talking about it. Wow! Let's stop as expected. 
La Sagrada Familia. Yeah, one of the most famous landmarks in Barcelona. And, and I have to say, even though that you've seen this before, like it's... photos of it, it's so much more impressive in real life. It's just incredible, the absolute scale of it. Oh, that's crazy, crazy, crazy. We're not going to go inside, because we don't have time. As you can see, we also found the tourists. Tourism is definitely not over. I'm surprised at the number of people right here in Barcelona. Oh, that is crazy. The Sagrada Familia is a Roman Catholic church designed by Antoni Gaudi. Even though it's still under construction, it is already a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There's a lot of debate as to whether this building is beautiful or extremely ugly. The idea is that it looks like a sandcastle slowly melting into the ocean. And inside, it's in fact colorful, unpredictable and modern. Okay, so the real question is, are we still scheduled? We Find a bus. a bus to oh, go to the bunkers of Carmel. Ooh, that sounds sexy. Let's do it. <laughs> Around yeah, let's, around let's cruise block. around a little bit and then we'll find a bus. Okay, we're going to say goodbye to the La Sagrada, we're going to hop on a bus and we're going to head to Gaudi's next most famous and that's the Park Gruel. Gruel? Which is also obviously Gruel. not completed. I'm starting to, it's starting to dawn on me that we might not make these 25 sites at the time. But as, and it's a little early. <laughs> so let's... You'll have to walk faster. Tempo out, oof. How about slower? Let's cut our losses and stop now. Go for tapas instead. Okay, bus. Give me the bus while we're walking. Alright, just like that. 20 minutes later, <laughs> bus ride. We are close to the bunkers of Carmel, and man, am I glad we decided to take the bus. <laughs> it was sort of worth uh, clambering up here by bus. But I'm glad we didn't walk from L there. A <laughs> little bit hazy, but it gives an interesting perspective of this part of Barcelona. A uh, very good view about uh, the Sagrada Familia. Okay. The Turo de la Rovira, one of the city's viewpoints, has long reflected the history of the plane. In 1937, in the midst of the Civil War, an anti-aircraft battery was installed here in an attempt to protect Barcelona from fascist raid air, air raids. The battery structure was later used to build the neighborhood. I mean, it's really hot. The costume change. Amazing, a woman gets up here. Lights are bad, but damn, beautiful views up here. From here, we're going to take a walk down to the park, Park Gruel. We'll hang there for a bit as well. Next stop, Park Gruel. Uh, I do suspect we might not have enough time to explore this place, but we can give it a go. Okay, so much for Park Gruel. So, mm. oh, sorry, we're back. So, yeah, I mean, you actually need to reserve entry tickets and you can't actually access the park outside of the time zone allocated to you. I guess this is something to do with the corona situation, yeah. That's a bit of a pity, but I'm sure there are still parts along the outside maybe that you can still access. We'll just walk around the outside and have a look because from here should we're we going to hop on a bus. Should we just like abandon this and move on? Because I don't know if it's worth sticking. We can more time do that. Let's back on the bus, guys. On our way to... Now we're going to the amazing buildings. So we're going to Casa Mila and Casa Alpes. We're three hours in and we only have seen three and a half... Sides. Four sides, all about 25. La Pedrera. La Pedrera. Casa Butler, which we're going to now, is a little bit more famous and more visited. So if you want to go into one without queues, go for Casa Mila. Ticking another one off the list. <laughs> There's a list. <laughs> There's a list. Plaza di Grazia. Boulevard. Beautiful boulevard with the trees lining the one side and on the other side all your expensive brand name stores. Gucci, Dior, Chanel. all those Chanel, yeah. We we'll pop into Louis Vuitton and see if we got something nice. I don't think Louis is expecting me today. Oh, okay. I just forgot to call ahead. I forgot to call ahead. That's so weird. Mm. That's a battle. I think someone's photobombing you. <laughs> I would hate to be this architect. 
the, uh, the building right next to it, but... Uh, it didn't do too bad a job, actually. I actually think it's a nice building. <laughs> but nice, nobody but looks at it. Nice. Casa Museo Amate. Maybe it's also famous, what do I know? <laughs> We're going to Plaza di Catalunya, which is a tree full square with lots of sculptures. And lots of people. And lots of people. I don't know, it's crazy busy. We haven't been in a place this busy, I don't know, in... Two months. years. Years, yeah. No, actually Milan was probably the closest, but... I don't even think Milan was as bad as this. It's a kind of shock to the system to be in a place that's so busy. Yeah, Ooh, is. nice sun. Ah, oh, yes, oh, please. Yeah. Oh, look at the pigeon. Glad we're here. Right, there, there. Count the pigeons. Quickly. First prize is tapas for two in Barcelona. From Placa di Catalunya, we're going to take Las Ramblas. Las Ramblas. It means uh, Les Ramble. <laughs> Like in WWF. The main pedestrian fair, all the way down to the Colombo statue. Oh wait, I remember. I'll be the undertaker. <laughs> I'm gonna pile drive you into Las Ramblas. Uh, Las Ramblas. And along Las Ramblas, we're hoping to find the market where we can stop and have a snack. Yes, maybe a coffee. Oh, something. Okay, let's go check out Las Ramblas. Which way? That way. This way. Yeah, that's Ramblas. Busy, busy, lot of people. Slightly overhyped. Hey, interesting part of town, I guess. Definitely is the main Where pedestrian through eh? Where is everybody going? I don't know. I mean, it's like 1 30, well, mind you, it's 1 30 pm, I guess. Mm, look at this weird radio effect. Woo! Look at this. Mercat La Bogueria. Pretty easy. Okay, we're at the market. La Bogueria. St. Joseph in La Bulgaria. Buddy, buddy, oh my god, it's buddy. Look at this place, it's incredibly crazy. No doubt a lot more touristic here. And also, the vendors is very pushy. No, no, not Asia pushy, but. It's more, it's noticeable, definitely noticeable. I know I'm a sucker for someone giving me something for free. Okay, I got us something very exciting. I've been seeing these in the windows everywhere, and they're apparently really, really local Catalania. These were one euro a ball. That's cheap, I think. Look at them. Freshly made this morning. I'm only allowed to look. You're only allowed to look. And I'll have to take a photo before we eat them. I'll hold it. Really? Can I trust you? No, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Quite hard. Mm -hmm. mm. Looks squishy, sugary, pine nuts. Marzipan center. Marzipan, okay. Covered in pine nuts. Oh my word. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, the pine nut flavor is just incredible with the marzipan. Seeing as we couldn't get into the park ghoul, we're at the palace ghoul, one of Gaudi's early works. Very early. <laughs> he was definitely still finding his feet. <laughs> this is Placa Real. It's a plaza. <laughs> Oh, exciting. In the Gothic Quarter. Spot the tourist. Hey, is this uh, is that guy from Tiger King? Oh my god. Funny. Ooh. Smelly, yeah. Welcome to the Gothic Quarters. Welcome to the Gothic Quarters, but I'll call it the Smelly Quarters. <laughs> smelly Alley. Yeah, this whole section is a bit of a... It's, it's quite... Oh, ooh, look, there's some pigeons... Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. everywhere, sorry, Lee, sorry. Oof. So it's quite a charming little area, lots of restaurants and very popular Australians, I guess. 
Not where we are right now. <laughs> I'm sure it gets better. This is pretty cool, Ellie. Yeah, it's smelly, yeah. Very oh, smelly, Ellie. Oof, Ellie, Ellie. I think we missed the protest or oh, rally or oh, whatever this was. A lot of people doing something. I guess we didn't completely miss it. First rule of traveling is never get caught up in local riots. But this hardly seems like a riot. Barcelona Cathedral yes. is in the Gothic quarters. And if you use your imagination, it's positively quiet. But as I say, if you're stopping around the corner, run for your life. Definitely, let's try and run and get ahead of all the protesters following us. Oh. I don't know where the front is, but we'll just explore it from this side a little bit as we run past it. Uh, maybe. Looks like a jail. Welcome to Santa Catarina Mercato. Mm. Good morning. Hey, look, there's our Definitely a little bit more of a market market. Or maybe we're just late. Not so touristy and people are packing up their stuff and closing up a little bit. Don't really get that tourist tourist vibe that we got on the other side, to be honest. Maybe it's a slightly older market. I don't know. Very cool vibe here in the Gothic Quarter. Lots of little eateries around. It sometimes looks just like a hole in the wall and then opens up into this big courtyard with plants and light. It's really quite amazing. And so many people out oh, and about amazing. drinking, eating snacks. And this is a Thursday afternoon, but it's gorgeous weather. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's got something to do with it. Maybe. And tomorrow's Halloween. <laughs> it's all maybe that's got something. Oh, no, it's not Halloween. Yeah. Oh, quite yet. Have you broken? No. Oh, it's very Halloween-y vibe. Right? Uh, this guy. Well, this is just the Basilica di Santa Maria. Every town in Europe has a Basilica di Santa Maria. But on the other side of us, we have the Passage del Born. Another charming pedestrian stretch. Passage del Born? Passage del Born. Is that Born. where Jason Bourne lives? I'm not sure. Yeah. It says it's offering medieval architecture and modern bars. It's offering medieval <laughs> architecture and modern bars. Now there that's a combination I love. You can go and see other displays and pay for guided tours. So these are ruins from the 1700s that they discovered here. And, here and they discovered it under the marketplace. Underneath the marketplace. They've opened this up. And it's actually free entry. They use it now as a cultural space as well to do ex exhibitions. Uh. And they're still busy excavating. It's just incredible to see this modern market steel structure over these 1700 excavated ruins. It's a pretty cool roof as well. It's going to meander through like this, and then we're going to go towards Barcelona. Chuchotella Park. Parco de Chutudela. Guessing because it was a maybe a church here. Yeah, no, it looks like uh, some sort of a what do you call it? The grow blondes. Keep monkeys. Oh, yeah. Too much to see. Too much, too much, too much. Too much, too much. Uh, L23. Oh, all the names. All the numbers. Oh, the little guys. Oh, I can't see that in this light. Oh, it's so the sun, so can... Ah, look at the like green parakeet style birds. Maybe some of these are parakeets, but it looks like parakeets. Loads of them. Oh, over the show. Pretty cool, you get right up there. 
Beautiful. Uh, looks like the Ark. Ark de Triomphe. Actually, it's not a military victory. It was erected as an official entrance to the World Fair. You, you know you know that for a fact. you agree with I that? I do, because oh. Andre told me so. Exactly. But that's a little bit too far to walk to. Uh, we're going to not walk all the way to the Ark, because it's already 30,000, 19,000 steps for me. And we are on number. We are on number 20. Yes. Of 30. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think okay, I'm have, out. <laughs> oh yeah, we at least have seen more than 20 sites already today. I think we've added a few more. So yeah, we're you about keep seeing five, something else. Maybe 10 more to go. Oh, we just move. This is what you call a rapid level sightseeing tour of Barcelona. Now we're going to walk Make through this our way through Barcelona. And go to Barcelona, which is sort of a port beach area, I suppose. Yes. Okay. This is the harbor of Barcelona. Wow, just a few little boats here. I don't know if it's the harbour or the yacht club. I say, I'll take this guy. This is beautiful, I agree. I'll take no, actually, this one. that was a nice arrow. I know, I like this one. This is ridiculous. Artifact? Mm, nice. So, uh, this boat is a hybrid super yacht. You can actually run on electric for a while. It's one year old, built for 150 million US dollars. And running cost is over a million US dollars a month. Are you buying me a boat, honey? <laughs> if not, Mike, if you're out there, Mike. <laughs> please give me a ride. <laughs> hmm, I think Mike got better things to do with these this time. Okay, let's go to the beach. Apparently there's a beach here somewhere. Well, there's a like fancy restaurant up there. A view over the yachts. <laughs> you think we're a fancy restaurant? <laughs> okay, it doesn't look like I'm taking you to a fancy restaurant. <laughs> of course I'm taking you to a fancy restaurant. Look, I just took you there. There it is, right there. Now let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go check out this uh, little bustle beach because you know we are on a mission to see all the sights of Barcelona in one day. Not recommended, by the way. And then we're gonna try another bus. Luckily, buses are quick and efficient. I'm very glad so far that we took the all day card, um, travel card. Yes. Because it really is nice to just whenever you feel like it, hop on a bus. And surprisingly, or luckily, should I say, we didn't really, we never waited for a bus. It was no, really like within a few minutes. Few boom. 10 minutes maybe. Five, 10 Let's minutes. get on the right bus, but so far so good. Yeah, there's actually people on the beach. Dude. Dude, everyone here thinks it's summer. Oh, no, man. Uh, I must uh, notice that it's still summer. Well, we just found summer. Bus yeah, not let that. come from? Why do they think it's still summer? Look. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. Not a bad beach, actually. Yeah, it's quite pretty. There's the bush all there in the background. Good. And this beach actually makes a couple of little bays here. It's quite strange lying on the beach with the people watching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can your up, darling. No, everything's not bad. It's really nice to experience something like this. You don't have to be in a place for very long to just get a feel for it. And Barceloneta Beach was one of those places that I thought it's just a little bit out the way, maybe we should take it off the list for today. And I'm glad that I didn't. I'm glad that we came here and got to see this because it just gives you a feel of what's available in the city. Sun setting. We made it to the castle. Look. <laughs> we did not make it to the castle. We did not make but it to I the think castle. We did a very good job of trying to see as much as possible of Barcelona in one day. It was a magnificent day. We did not make it all the way to the castle, which means we didn't get to see the fountains or the castle. But we decided that right here on the beach, the vibe is just so lovely and the sun's about to set. We're rather going to get ourselves some snacks and a beer. It's uh, just on six o'clock and we're just running out of energy. It's just been such a crazy long day, but it's been great. Weather's phenomenal. Barcelona's amazing. We'll definitely what be we'll back. Do is we Lisa's got a little map, so we might put it on our website. I'll just a link to it in the bottom if you want to see the route we did. And, and see if you can do more of the things on the route than we did. This is just the start of Spain for us, so we'll catch you guys tomorrow. I think this might be a vlog on its own. We'll see. <laughs> thanks but for thanks, watching. Barcelona. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>